All right, here we are, everybody. This is Meat Hammer. Welcome to episode 24 of my Let's Play series of Sky Factory 3 for Minecraft version 1.10.2. Pretty sure that's what we're on. Um, just sitting down here, I was doing run, running some audio tests, trying to uh, get things a little uh, better situated. I think I got it where I want it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run with it. We'll see what happens. Just going to see what happens. So come back up, see everything, and I will go ahead and sleep so we get some light. But uh, I got a couple things on my mind today as to what we're going to do. Um, we need more power. Um, I like to have multiple power sources um, instead of relying on just one. Well, this will definitely be an indefinite way to get power. It's limited as far as how much. I mean, yeah, I can keep building towers up, but uh, until I get into it, you know, I don't know if there's another way to create lava faster than what I'm doing right there. Um, I don't know if there's a better source for burning, but uh, regardless, uh, that's why I started over here with these farms. Um, both of these can help me out with something in particular. Uh, one of them, uh, the canola, will get us can from actually additions. We can get uh, canola oil. Um, we can get... Uh, couple other levels of canola oil to really bump up and get some decent power creation um, and it's not too difficult as well as the hemp industrial hemp here um, from uh, oh my gosh now I don't even remember I, my brain just um, immersive engineering there we go I know it started with an I sorry about that immersive engineering uh, we can use that with to uh, as one of the items for creating biodiesel and that will create uh, 4,096 per tick unless they have changed that. But as you notice, those farms up there, they're full. And the reason why, I forgot to uh, actually add a couple things here. Um, so this one's full. we got to upgrade that. This one's full. we got to upgrade that. This one is not. And this is the one we're more concerned about right now. We don't have nearly enough seeds. So I know that I have few things available to rectify this so let's go over here and grab them real quick and I believe I put them in here yes so we have those and we have these so we can go ahead and put some upgrades on both of these and I am going to do the uh, the void one as well just because after you get to a certain point it, it's just a lot of extra work to not have it so Go ahead and put it on those. Everything should pick back up. But we are going to put voids on all of those. And just out of curiosity, did I upgrade? No, I didn't upgrade you. Um, yeah, I don't need to. Uh, those seeds, I don't know what else they can be used for. So we're just going to go ahead and put a void right on it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I could upgrade these with voids. But I don't really need those to run. It doesn't really matter. Once they're up to that level, eh, who cares? Uh, they can shut down this one. Yeah, I'm just waiting on that to get up high enough so that I can then move on and start creating each one of these in turn. So it's not anything I really need need right now, so I'm not going to worry about trying to adjust it. But uh, something else I wanted to show, uh, since I have been working a little bit with chickens, we do have Manelian chicken. We have that triple eight. Um, cobalt still triple eight. You're not any better. Um, Ardite triple eight, not any better. And Manelian triple eight. So that's awesome. And just by sheer luck, didn't even mean it. Magma slime chicken egg. Um, not really that we necessarily need those, but hey, what the heck? If we got it, why not? So I'll be dealing with those later. But what I have on tap for today, as you may see here, I've got this built out. Uh, I was in preparation. Um, if you notice, it's pretty close to this size, other than uh, this little area here. And should give you maybe a little hint at what we're going to do, uh, plus a little sneak peek of something I showed in my uh, in JEI earlier. Yes, we're going to get into a little bit of integrated dynamics. Um, and to start with that, we need a tree farm. We need the, uh, was it the mendrel tree, I think it is? So show here, mineral, not mineral, but mineral. We need those. 
So we're going to create a little mineral tree farm. Um, and the reason we're getting into this is for some automation. Um, one of the power methods with the uh, canola that I would use for controlling that and upgrading the canola oil uh, is XNet, which is not in this pack. Uh, so, I mean, it, it does have Super Circuit Maker, and I've done it with that. It's not the most elegant. Um, I've played around with Integrated Dynamics. I saw Dire Wolf's 20s Let's Play on that. Or not Let's Play, his, Let's Play his uh, Spotlight on that. And played around with it in a, <clears throat> excuse me, in a creative world using this mod pack. So it has all the same mods, all the same settings. And that's the way we're going to go. Um, it's super simple to set up. Works fantastic. It's the most reliable method I have seen thus far for doing what I want to do. So that's where we're going with it. Um, no reason to, to change. And as far as a farm goes, uh, for here, we are not going to use this method. It will not work for us. I mean, we could pipe over some of these items for power or just, you know, tap into this power. No, we're not going to do that. Um, we've got plenty of power uh, for now. I mean, I think we are probably full up. Yeah, okay. It's just a slight leak right now. Not a big deal. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to just use the good old reliable farming station from Ender.io. Um, I know I still have some of these created. I'm not a big fan of how they work. So not going to use that. We are definitely going to use the farming station. I'm going to see if I can use fertilized farmland, see if it has any effect on this. I don't know that it, well, it won't be farmland. It'll just be fertilized dirt. Uh, but we'll see if that has any effect on things. And I am going to go ahead and create another uh, tier two growth crystal when I get the chance. But uh, to add to it, because, you know, why not have that help out? But what I want to see is those are here these are tier these have uh in them the double layer capacitor and that boundary comes right out to here we want to go a little bit further which i believe is a 13 by 13 if i remember correctly and that's the size we're going to want to create for our farm so i am going to go ahead and i'm going to get the uh farming farming station set up i'm going to go ahead and get the farm built and we only have a couple of saplings so far but once i get that set up uh we'll come back and we will take off from there so we'll see you in a minute all right we're back uh quick little update here i got a uh, mineral tree farm up and running um again using the farming station and i did use a paper hatchet with five uh of the upgrades to make it unbreakable so that will never break it's not going to be the fastest but it's fast enough for what we need i mean it just well, it seems to be evaporating pretty good um but yeah it's slowly collecting items and created a platform down below uh with power we had the power coming in and already we have got quite a bit stored um i did put void upgrades on all of these because after we get to a certain point we don't care anymore saplings i didn't give them any type of uh, storage upgrade because if we get to 2048 saplings uh that's plenty i don't foresee us probably ever needing more and if we do it's easy enough to add something to it and let it go um the wood i did all these three i did um i forget what the mineral berries can be used for there's something i'll have to look that up real quick um where are you berries 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 right there what are your uses oh yeah see we do there's a light panel display panel biomash who cares or in a culinary generator they produce power so um so some of these we're definitely going to be needing it for because we will need to make use of display panels of course, those get the static panels. So they do definitely come in handy. We will be needing them. We have quite a few. Um, typically, these logs you would melt down uh, in the squeezer, which you have to jump manually jump up and down on to get it to work. And then you would pipe the liquid into the drying basin, and it would 
solidify into a block of crystallized mineral. So you would get nine of these out of it, the little chunks. Well, we also get these out of there just by farming it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's not probably as a great a rate, but we are getting it. A um, couple ways I was looking at man, uh, manual or automating some of this. And really about the only other way we can automate this is the industrial squeezer. Uh, I believe it was from uh, integrative, well, gosh, I can't remember. Indust is it not industrial engineering? I can't, oh, why do I have such a hard time remembering the name of that mod? Uh, immersive engineering. See, gosh, I have the hardest time with that for some reason. But yeah, immersive engineering, if we use the industrial squeezer from it, we can squeeze. Go back to that I N G G. We can squeeze the wood, the logs. into the mineral resin and then we can pipe that out of there uh we have a couple different options for that for drying as you can see um well, no, we can pump it into a, f a fluid tank for a little bit of storage and from there it can actually let me see here we can pump it into casting tables or casting basins to create the blocks um they show it here but i don't we can pump it into it, and then it'll pump it out. That seems kind of silly. Um, we could, should be able to pump directly into that. Otherwise, the drying basin, um, we can definitely do that as well. So I don't think that that's going to be any big deal, uh, other than possibly the cost. That's just, oh, gosh, those are cheap. That's cheap enough. So, yeah, we could easily do that. And get a few of them going, but uh, I don't think we're going to need to at this point. Um, I'm thinking we can probably get by with using the crystals that are already, it's already giving us. We just needed to get a farm going, get these trees. Yeah, you, you can see they kind of grow funky. I might change this up a little bit so it can't put them down. Uh, wow, they can't grow quite so many so quickly uh, since they're going to be a three by three. I uh, might allow it certain three by three areas and then put a bunch of blocks in there. I don't know. For now, it's fine. And that soil seems to help tremendously. Uh, as you can see, that stuff is growing pretty, pretty rapidly. So we have that. So we can start with integrated dynamics to automate the creation of some of the sea, some of the oils we're going to want for power. Um, how are we doing right now on power drain now that we have a few things going? How are we doing? We are draining, constantly draining power at a steady rate. Okay. Not a huge rate, but it's a steady rate. So we will want to take a look at that. However, once this is done, a lot of that's going to stop. And I automated this. All I did was I, I simply put a large chest here. You put the direct number of items that you want uh, that you're going to need for creating what you're after put it in here um, and there's just through filters and item conduits it just places things where it needs to and then draws out the finished product it's nothing fancy um, it's probably not going to be the be all end all at some point that will be far more automated but for now that's what we got and so we can go ahead and start filling this in a little bit. I mean, at this point, we almost really don't need to, but hey, what the heck. What the heck, right? Oh, we can still do two more. Perfect. Because we have quite a bit. Oh, we still got a couple more yet. A lot of industrial hemp. Um... The hemp I'm not so worried about, but it's a good substitute for string. So string farms, cotton farms and all that, don't need it. Um, really don't need it anymore. We, we have got so much of that already. Uh, our canola seeds we have a bit. We've got a good amount of canola. So we've got that going. For now, what I might do is just create another layer here and up these 
Uh, put some more. Yeah, it looks like we're having trouble keeping up with the lava production more than anything. Yeah, that's dropping. I think when this is done, after this next one, this is a lot of our power draw is going to be gone. So that's good. I mean, there's still going to be some, but it's going to be minimal. Um, I'll probably still shut this farm off for the time being. Uh, we don't really need it, need it. So at the moment, there. Turn you off. So we're no longer drawing power other than from this, from our empower. So once you are done, which this should be the last one, our power draw should hopefully... Here we go. All right. I just don't want to uh, take a break, come back, and find out, hey, look, we've lost all our power and everything's shut down. That's not much fun. I, Like I said, I've been there before. Don't really want to do it again. Now, if I calculated things right, this should be everything we need. Oh, no, it's not going to be because I used some for, I used four of them for the creation of something else, so I'll have to do couple more that's all right no big deal that is i mean these are really kicking it pretty good we're, we're getting a lot of items out of those um oh hey enderman we're getting more than enough uh trees here uh like i said i'm probably and actually this actually will come out one more uh at maximum it's 15 by 15 not 13 by 13 so if i want to maximize that space i can i, I don't need to so i'm not going to bother Plus, I don't think that that growth crystal would reach out that far as it is. I don't remember. Uh, let's see if it says in the tooltip. Can you see? It works in a 9x9 farm. Well, it only works in a 9x9 anyways, so it's only affecting uh, up, out to a certain point. So... Um, Two, three, so only out to here. Uh, everything out to here is not being affected by that growth crystal. So no big deal. No big deal. All right, so that's all done for now. We got things progressing. And I think, let's see, with what we have there, it's probably, eh, we're not that bad on episode length. I just don't want to run too long. Um, oh yeah, look at that. That's drained on lava. We have, ooh, we have been really draining that. We're going to have to uh, create a whole nother layer here. Again, not a major deal. Very simple to do. This should be, oh yeah, more than enough cobble being generated there. Um, I didn't even see. Just for grins. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm leaving this running. Who cares? I mean, we may have some use for it, other use for it at some point, but for now, nope, 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 nope. If that could actually go in here, ooh, that might mean a lot of extra cobble gen, or a lot of extra lava gen, or a lot of, uh, a whole lot of nothing. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think what I, like I said, what I'll do is I'll add another layer to this. So, one or two at least. I might even go two. I'd rather have more lava then not enough. Um, and then I can add some more up speed upgrades to these, which will definitely allow this to generate a lot more RF per tick. So we'll go ahead and do that off camera. Um, then let's see. We'll just do that first and see where we're at at that point. And we'll be back. See you in a bit. Well, so we're back. And I just wasted a whole bunch of recording, uh, which may not be for the be that bad. Um, I was kind of going through setting this up, explaining what I was doing, uh, and then I got towards the end of signing off and realized that my capture software was not actually capturing anything but the first initial frame again. Um, so basically, what we're doing is we're just piping canola seeds canola over here. First the canola seeds come, uh, they drop down into here, they drop down in this plate, 
which triggers the reconstructor, turns them into crystallized seeds. The ranged collector sucks them up, sends them back for storage. For safekeeping. So that's where we're at with that. We got those going pretty good. Then the canola comes over, comes into here, as you can see. And the canola press will output automatically into four fermenters. And the four fermenters are outputting into this tier five modular tank that uh, was going to go modular, but with this, this particular size of it, uh, as to how much it holds, I think 1,024 buckets. I don't see a need to go modular with it unless modular. And the mod just means that they're upgradable, because they are. But I do want to create a couple more. Those, I like them. Didn't know anything about them. First time I'd used them, and I like them. But what we need are a couple more. I think all I need are two more buckets for this. Pretty sure. Hmm. Think about that. I need, yeah, I just need two more. Okay. Two more tanks to hold what we're going with. But we will need more glass paints. That's not gonna that's not gonna be enough. Um, that's all we need of that. So you gotta start with these. If for those that aren't familiar with it, this particular mod, uh the extra tanks here mod, like uh, me. I was I had absolutely no idea. Um, if you start with your basic tank, just like so, and then you have to go for upgrades. So the first, this is a, those are tier one. You know, you can apply the tier two only to that. So, oh, I've got so many, I didn't need that. All right. Um... What we have to do is get two of each. Those stacked. Oh, those stacked. Wonderful. All right. That does take care of all of our glass panes. Which we will need more. Ooh, we're running low on glass. We're going to have to create some more. I thought I just created a bunch of it. Apparently, not enough. All right. So we got tier two. And let's see. There we go. So there's a tier one. We don't need those types of upgrades. Tier two. We gotta get to a tier three upgrade, which was there we go. We got obsidian. Gold. And notice it says block of gold. Oops, which made me think that you had to use blocks of gold. It's not the case. It just uses ingots. So that's not bad. We have more than enough gold. Right, so that gets us to there. Then it's tier three, right? Tier three, the next one we can go say tier four, we can do lapis or we can do redstone. Doesn't matter. I have a lot of both. Uh, this isn't all I have if you remember upstairs. I've got way more than this up there. So we're just going to go ahead and run consistently the way we have, and we'll run lapis. All right. And then finally, the last. Again, we've got a lot of diamonds and emeralds. So it really doesn't matter. And two of those. So we have all of our upgrades. All of our tanks, and it got dark, so let's sleep. We're gonna put these tanks in place. Just where I want them. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out a semi-logical way to do this. So that's there, and then that's gonna run from this tank into the next thing. Then let's go 
and run that next tank. Let's give it some space. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go right there. That's a good. That's a good space. And let's go over here. Is that up against? That's up against. All right. We want to. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. We can make that work. We can make it work. All right. So then now, to apply these, I want to make sure. Just right click. That's it. Boom. We're now at a tier two tank. Tier three tank. Tier four tank. Finally, tier five tank. Just that simple. These things are amazing and easy. All right. So what we are going to do, here's where some of the magic is going to start happening. Um, precision droppers. Okay. Need one of you first. All right, we're going to just come out of there. Say you will come out to here. This is like a good spot. Why not? Make sure you're pointing up. Boom. Dropper. We'll do the same over here. We might have to move that tank, and that's okay, because you can just... It says that they don't lose their contents. And, you know, when you break them, and they don't lose all their upgrades. So that's perfect. All right, so fluid placer. We're going to place our fluids. And we have to collect our fluids. I do want these two semi-close, but not completely. You'll see why in a little bit. Um, I could have actually built this down a little bit more into it. Um, do I want to? Do I want to? Do I want to? Yeah, I do. I do. I want this to look a little bit nicer. I do. Okay, so... Do not want to hoots. We don't want to lose these. Don't want to have to recreate them. You I don't care about. Oh. Alright, so collectors. Um this one goes over right there. Well, that's correct. This one you get knocked out. All right. So that looks better. This one. Ah, I hate that. Sometimes. All right. Food collector. All right. Then, whoop, placer. Yes, we want you. Okay, then. Nice thing. Let's go ahead. We'll do it like that, just for now. We'll close this a little bit better. It's just enough. All right, the droppers. Uh, well, they are named the droppers. They don't have to drop. They can push something up, which is perfect. It really is. That's really what we want. Okay. So with that in place... Oh, I got rid of my... It went into my inventory. Need you. Okay, so what we have to do, we got to get the fluid out of here, into here. No problem, right? None whatsoever. We can do that. Um, I was trying to see if there's maybe a cleaner way to do it. 
do this. I can do it without ever touching. Just for grins. Let's see. All right. So you go into there. You are insert. Let's have you come out. So you never actually touch. Hmm, do I want to draw it out of the back? I, don't, I know. It's not really that big of a decision. Yeah, but it is. Good. Draw it right out. Let's see if I get it. Oh, yeah, nope, nope, nope. So I'm trying to think of the cleanest way to do this. You know what? I'm just going to draw it right out of the back. Don't care. All right, you are extract, just like that. Okay, and here's the problem. <sighs> your pulse, your pulse, your deactivation, and now you're full of that. Okay, easy, 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 easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy. Just drain all that out. Hopefully. Okay. Drained out. Always forget. A couple of those steps first. Maybe I can. Maybe. But if I can do that, that'd be great. All right. Anyways, so there we go. We have something that we need there. We have our. Once in a while, this will do that. There we go. Uh, we have our oil that we need to work from. Excuse me, I don't even drink. Ah, that's better. All this talking. All right. So this oil needs that's what all this stuff is for. We need to be able to detect the oil that's there and act upon it. Do things with it. Uh, for now, actually, what I want to do, dang it, I want to destroy that first and make a mess. This is going to uh, nullify one bucket of this oil. Um, you know, well, that's okay. I'd rather do that. It's not a big deal. Okay. The only reason I'm doing it this way is because I need to place something here. I need to, I need to place what's called a block reader. This block reader from Integrated Dynamics is going to read what's here. And if we need it, I'm going to... It also acts as a, you know, as a block, so it stops the liquid from flowing. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back in my inventory. Okay. Use this to click on it. Maybe. It's going to have to be an open hand. Why don't you want to... Oh, I know why. I forgot. For some reason with this, you have to have... Want you there. All right. So for now, let's get these out of there. And connect them. Once they're connected like that, boom. Now we can see what's going on. All right. So we want to do that. I'm going to bring you up just for grins. And we're going to put you there. Just allows me to see what's going on. 
at a glance, I can monitor this system. All right, so what this is doing is it's reading our oil. And you can see all kinds of different information here. This is the one we're interested in. And we need to take a variable card. Throw it in there. Boom. Get a variable. Block. It has all kinds of information. Yay. And let's go to sleep. We're going to have to do some stuff underneath. It's going to be dark. And I don't want to hear... I hope I want to keep this as lit up as I possibly can for everyone. So you can see what's going on while I'm down there and I'm working underneath. Because this is where a lot of this is going to get pretty interesting. Although, you know what? I am going to keep that stuff up here. I'm going to... Let's see, I need a variable store. Logic programmer. And materializer. So let's go ahead and keep you here, you here, and you here. Now, the logic programmer, we don't need to keep here. There's a portable version, but I, I, I look at it as, you know what? I have enough stuff that I'm carrying around. Oh, you, okay, I don't have to go there, though. I can go to here. All right, so got to get all of these connected, networked together. And this, oh, I mean, you can use this for a lot more, it's my understanding, than what we're going to, but we're essentially using this for um, the triggering mechanism. Uh, it's going to check certain things, and then it's going to trigger events based on conditions. Okay, so we want you. Okay, so there's all of our connectors for this. All nice and hidden. Okay, so we got our variable out of there. That's what we want. Um, and I'm not, not a programmer, and this uses a lot of programming type of uh similarities there's a lot of terms in that that are similar to programming so you have to bear with me i was just following uh, a dire wolf 20 video and i'm, I'm not going to get a lot of the terminology correct but i can show you pretty much what you need to do to get this to work but what we have to do is take this variable card and what we want from it is a name that's all we want from it so we're going to add you, and then we put another variable card in there. So now we get a string back that is the name of that pop of that card, or of that of this item that is there. Now, let's see. Oh yes, then I forgot. Uh, materializer. One of the things we're going to have to do is we have to put this in here. I create another variable card. I forget exactly why. I don't understand the, the whole thing about it. I can't really explain it, but I know you just have to do that. And we're going to create a Boolean. It's a, a test. We're going to see if the variable from there equals this variable. And it does. We get this one back, which is a true statement okay so this whole setup here is pretty much going to run everything we need there but in order for all this to work we need to put these in there so that they're available on the network so for this we are going to put in you why are you not working why are you not working That's what's supposed to work, isn't it? They grabbed the wrong one. See, now I did this earlier. And it works beautifully. Was it you? Ah. No, because you're showing me the oil. I want the name. The name of it. That's what I want to see. Variable with ID0 could not be found with the current network. Yeah, you can. Have to be. Does not connect all the way. 
maybe the logic programmer being there is causing my problem. So let's take logic programmer, put you on the end, variable store there, and put you both in. There we go. Now sell me oil. That was it. All right. This doesn't actually connect to the network. All right. So now sell me, yes, you have oil. Perfect. Probably put this face up there to make it look a little bit cleaner. Ooh, wouldn't that be kind of neat? Maybe. Be harder to get to things. That's okay. All right. So anyways, so this is going to have seeds going to it, which we need to get to it. Just seeing. All right. So we do need, and I don't have any on me. Ah, I need item conduits. I don't even know if I have any left. I may have used them all. Yeah, as you can see, I made a lot of these. Um, did it by mistake, but they will get used at some point. So item conduits, I do not. I know I did a bunch more of the binder. Yay. We will need a lot of that. We will just burn through it at some point. All right. So item conduits. Need those. And that was a oh, pulsating iron nugget. Let's do. That'll be enough because what we're going to. Oops. Yeah. And we'll do it like so. This will give us a lot. All right. Oops, way too much. And we can put you back. You. See, they give us two stacks. That's a lot. That's a lot to work with. All right. And we're still with light mode. Okay. So, before I hook up the logic to this, because it will fire, I want to get this hooked up. You are an insert. And we need, oops, we need to pick one to get out of there. And I got to make sure, see, you are extracting on brown. So it's going to be an insert on brown. Oh, that's already full. All righty. That's all right. Insert on brown. You. Uh, make sure we don't have. Oh, okay, so it knows it doesn't. That's good. Sometimes you're never quite sure. We just got to get. Oh, yeah, we just got to get connected over to here. This should be all we have to do. Whoops. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Ah, sometimes these item conduits. What did you do? Ah. Fine. Oh, you just annoy me. And insert on brown. And what happened to my situation strike for now? Oh my gosh. That just irritates me. All right. Anyways, that should be filling up. Okay. Now I got to go get another. S somewhere I lost. Somehow I lost that filter. You know what? We're just going to use this advanced one for now. I don't care. If I want to change it out later, I will. Keep wanting to go that way. All right. So. What I got to have? Do I have canola on me? I got canola on me. Good. I never put it back. So. Okay, you do have power. All right, good. So you extract, insert brown canola. 
All right, that's back in business. Now we can go ahead and hook this logic up. Sorry about that distraction. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make sure, because that's what we were setting this up for. It's basically, we're saying, fire the redstone when that condition is true, that the name of this item was the oil. So then it fires up a crystallized canola seed, and it turns this into crystallized oil. All right, so now this variable has changed. So we need to do this again. So now we need to go like so. Um, I know we're going to need one of you. Um, we, what we don't need is another one of these. Because this is just pulling the, whatever variable, whatever name is there. So we don't need that. So what we do need... Oops, sorry. Equals, we need to check that this equals this, does, becomes a true condition, and then what we want to do, as you notice, we put another one here, we want to fire this under that condition. Um, seriously? Oh, I know why. <laughs> I just, I'm like, what? That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Always forget. <sighs> Stop it. You have to put these variables in there. Okay, and now look at this. It will happily, happily do this until the cows come home. Oh, hey, there it went. I'll put it on the surface. Too bad my uh, item filter that did too. What do you know? Okay. Go back and go to sleep. That stuff works so funny sometimes. That should be a configured filter, so we're going to go put that back in. Save this uh, advanced item filter for another time. Alright, so take you out, put you in, and we're good. Clean you out. All right. So now, now we have. Okay, that's full. Need to go to here. All right, and we need more fluid conduits. We're going to need more. This ain't going to be enough. And this is going to be insert. And you, well, since we did that, we have no choice. Well, we can we can create a uh, facade to block that. So, okay, that's fine. We're going to make you extract on green. Let's change the color just in case it runs into something else. And... Three left. And pow. All right. So now we are filling up. We did. Yes, auto extract. We're empty. Why are you not coming out? See, this type of crazy. Yes. Uh, I'm wondering if that is interfering. Uh, it shouldn't. It's always active. So. And you are set to insert. See, this stuff puzzles me. Why are you not working? You should be working. You really, really, really should be working. I don't know why it's not. 
to change. Let's change things up. I don't think that's going to matter. <sighs> really? As soon as I put you extract and green. It's not firing. That's the problem, is it's not firing this anymore. You are true. You are true. Stone Rider. You are in pulse mode. Oops. Had a canola seed come out. Sometimes this will happen. Uh, there we go. I don't know why that stopped. That was odd. I really don't know. It was really, truly weird. But there we go. It's off and running. Um, I may have to cover this just to keep me from accidentally. So we might just have to do that. I can watch from here. It's probably safer. <laughs> probably safe. All right. Air, oil, crystallized oil. All right. We're essentially going to do the same thing over here. It's going to output over to here. And then from there, we're going to set up another empower. Uh, we'll draw power from this. And from there, we will create the empowered oil. And that's going to go into here, but I, I may be moving it. Well, actually, I'm drawing from here. I'm sorry. Or no, 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 no. I will be drawing. Come here. That's that. Oh, that's only at 1681. I'm gonna go get a. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade that to the diamond. But what I have to do is I'll have to pull from that and then go to the empower, which will be out here. Uh, that will then create the empowered seeds, which we'll put over here. Then the empowered seeds. Oh, no, I was on top of that. The empowered seeds will go ahead and come over to this setup, and they will create the empowered oil, and that in turn will go into here, and then from here it'll go into a couple of probably. About six oil oil generators, yeah, and it will create a considerable amount of power. Um, it will be a good source of uh, secondary power for us, and that's filling up pretty good. So, let's, let's see. This is still recording, and it's been going on for a while. So, coupled with what I do have, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do a screenshot for the video. I think we're going to go ahead and call it with that one. Um, next video, we'll go ahead and we'll get into the empowerment, empowering setup and uh, getting everything going for that. But for now, uh, I think that's going to do it. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for putting up with uh, all my little glitches I had for this and lack of an explanation. I'm sorry I don't have quite all of the logic and the naming for all of this. Oops, than one might need. Dang it. I don't know if you saw that, but I'll sort of grab that. But uh, if you really want to know, um, I would highly suggest that you watch uh, Direwolf 20's video that he has. All right. On this particular mod and how to use it. He goes into a brief overview of how to do this just cover you up. Now I can't get in there. Good. Seems silly, but yeah, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, we're gonna have one possible spawn there. I'll just brighten that up. Okay, so with that, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you liked it. Uh, dislike if you didn't. Definitely understand on this one. Um, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. And uh, until the next time, catch y'all later.